you can make your visits uh, be less frequent, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And there's actually a lot of ways, everything from color to the way you cut your hair to the way you take care of your hair when you go home. Uh, salons are spilling their secrets. Excess Salon and Spa is where we're at this morning out in Gilbert. Jory is here with me, along with Afton and beautiful models that we've got with us. Well, this is Mia. And um, actually, she's a perfect model to explain how you can have some blonde highlights in with darker hair, but as the hair grows out, you don't see the regrowth. So we've got blonde coming in. It, she can go four months at least without getting this touched up if it is underneath the top of the hair. Okay, so you're not coloring the crown of the hair. We're not coloring the crown of the hair. Um, I mean, you can, but in, uh, in an uh, event to save some money to take those highlights longer, just don't do it at the top. Okay. This is the fastest and the quickest um, uh, regrowth line. We'll take four months over four to six weeks typically. Okay. okay, and then you were saying that there's also some products out there if you have gray and you use uh, dark to cover it up, some spray on. Exactly. We have a line called Fulmore and um, it's kind of interesting. This is kind of showcasing um, what, well obviously it, it would look much prettier on the hair, but if the, if the person had a solid gray regrowth and she had blonde um, or golden blonde highlights or coloring, and instead of coming in every three to four weeks, this could last for maybe two weeks longer. You just put this on the regrowth, spray it on, you kind of comb it, or you can put it on your comb and put it right on the gray, right on the part that shows, or on the front hairline, and it washes right out. Love that, love that, big favor. And oh, one other thing is that we have it for dark hair and reds. Okay. So it's not just for blonde. Perfect, so to blend right in. Okay, talk about haircuts, Afton, because there's some different uh, ways to cut your hair, part your hair, and things like that to get some more length out of your hair, if you will. Exactly. When you're trying to grow your hair out or trying to like make your haircut last just a little bit longer, one of the tricks is always going and getting your bangs trimmed up and right around your front hairline. A lot of times we make the mistake of trying to do it ourselves, uh -huh. and then you're coming into the salon getting an entirely new haircut because we're having to spend a little bit more time fixing up the hair. Um, also, a good thing to do is how you take care of your hair, not wearing it back in tight ponytails and things where it can break, mm -hmm. and then you're having to get more touch-up haircuts in between to trim up those split ends. All right, and products, of course, you go to the salon and the products are always expensive, but you say there's a reason why they are. Um, the more high-quality products are going to last you longer. Um, you use less of them. They emulsify through the hair uh, much easier. But one of the um, best tips I can give someone when they're shampooing and conditioning their hair in the shower, um, wet the hair thoroughly with water before you apply the shampoo. It's going to take that shampoo all the way through the hair shaft and, and cleanse it. Okay. Uh, same with the scalp. Then rin or, um, squeeze out all the water so you're as dry as possible before you apply your conditioner. Okay, and a little goes a long way, of course. A goes a long way. And then just one other thing with the um, certain high-end products, uh, our Alpha Parf line does have built-in sunscreen and thermal protectors on all leave-in products. All right, Dory and Afton, thank you so much. Sunscreen you need, of course, here with uh, our weather. We're always out in the sun, and it fades your color fast. And Alexis, when all else yes. fails, oh. a hat or thank a you. scarf will do to uh -huh. kind of cover up the root. And you, you've seen such great hats out there with the Swarovski crystals uh -huh. and all the fun stuff. So there you go. Yes, and I wear ponytails all the time when I'm not at work, and that's probably why my hair breaks so much. I know, I do too. Yeah. I do too. I, my hair is never down on the weekends. It's always back, so exactly. we learned something this morning. We sure did. Okay, Andrea, thank you so much.